chim 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 Well, what an unbelievable, fantastic bunch of players we've got at the Wolves at the moment. I can't believe what I've seen this evening. Fantastic from 1 to 11 again. I know I've said that so many times this season, but today I think was the best home performance we've seen and possibly the best sort of spell from the start of the second half until around about 65, 70 minutes in the match. It was the best period of football that we've seen from our boys all season. Home and away. I think we've been a lot better away from home in the majority of this season so far. But today, just oh, a couple of standout performances today. Ruben Neves, for me, the second half dominated everything. Really skillful on the ball. Didn't give much away at all. Really, really good, positive with possession. Spraying the ball across nicely as well and looking for through balls as well, which I think has been lacking in recent games. Diego Jota against... James Chester and John Terry just made them look like absolute statues. I think the plan was to get Wolves running with the ball and counter-attack against Villa's slow defence. And when they did that, when it was a straight foot race between the two, Jota was winning every time. Took his goal really, really well as well. Really great breakaway for the second goal as well, which I'm gutted that he didn't score. But thankfully, Bonatini did as well. The keeper should have done much better with that as well. It is near post, but an excellent finish from a really tight angle from Bonatini, who has been involved in more goals now in the Championship than anybody else, which is a fantastic uh, record for a player like him. He's not going to be a massive goal scorer like Bully or Ebanks Blake. He's going to be somebody who's going to get around about 18 to 20 goals, but he's going to contribute as well, and that's what's important. I thought defensively we had absolutely nothing to do, and what we did do is we dealt very well with it. John Ruddy didn't have a save to make all game. They had one shot on target. They hit the bar as well from a free kick through uh, Snodgrass late in the game. But Villa looked very, very poor. I think coming into the game, I was really thinking that this was going to be our first big, real big challenge. Uh, Villa on a good run of form before today although they haven't really played anybody of any sort of strength Bolton and Burton teams like that were two of their four wins but I wasn't really confident coming into the game even at half time I was thinking well you know we've had the better of it and then the way we started the second half was superb came out really positively keeping the ball high up as well holding possession in their sort of middle third Within a couple of minutes of the um, restart, we looked as if we were going to dominate this at the second half, and we did so. Atmosphere was fantastic, one of the best crowds and atmospheres at Molyneux for a long, long time. And you can see now, even though a game on television, getting a crowd of 30,000 for a game against the Villa is showing the progress that we've made from January even this year, when the similar fixture had 10,000 fewer people in the, uh, in the stadium. So that's amazing. And we move on now to Preston at home next weekend, hoping to keep on this run that we're on now and to confirm our place at the top of the table. We've finally moved top of the table today, uh, having with Cardiff losing last night and Leeds as well, dropping points today as well. So we're building a gap now between us and third place, albeit early on, but there's a lot to be positive about. Fantastic performance today. Really looking forward now to the rest of the season. Let me know in the comments down below who impressed you today, who stood out over everybody else. Would you be making any changes to the team now? Or would if players like Bolly come back in, would you be dropping Danny Bart, who hasn't done anything wrong? Although, granted, he didn't have much to do today. And having that sort of local boy character in there as well, sort of bridging that gap with the fans as well. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to drop a like on the video if you enjoyed and subscribed if you haven't already. And... We're Wolverhampton, we're top of the league.